Hey everyone, it's Marvin again, and welcome back to episode 6 of our online video tutorial series for YouTube. Um, in this episode, we're going to talk to you about how to connect your social media channels to Reamaze. Um, as you know, Reamaze is a multi-channel help desk and customer messaging platform. So not only will you be able to manage your email conversations with customers, but also your social media conversations through Facebook, Facebook Messenger, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, in this episode, we'll actually also cover SMS channels and as well as voice channels. And keep in mind, these things might change later down the road and we'll update our videos accordingly. Uh, but for this episode, we're just gonna talk about social media channels, SMS channels, and voice channels, and show you how to connect those up and all the import settings that you have access to. Um, we won't talk about how to respond to conversations as that's going to be a different episode and we're going to talk about how to reply to emails, how to reply to social media, how to reply to live chat. All of those things will be in another episode. So if you're looking for that, go through the, uh, the, the, the video list and you know find that right episode. Uh, but for now, we're just going to talk about how to connect everything up. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So we are on the brand new johnsmithco.reamaze.com dashboard. Um, I do have another one here, it's called Daffy Widgets. This one has, is a little bit more filled out and we use it a lot for our demos. Um, so this one has a little bit more data, but we'll be using the two kind of um, simultaneously. So I'm gonna probably switch back and forth between the two, um, but they, the, the general concept should be the same. So to get started, um, we're on the main dashboard here. You wanna go down to settings and once that loads, you're going to scroll down until you see channel settings here and then go ahead and click on social channels. Um, so right now there's there are no social media channels connected at all. I am logged into one of our Facebook accounts. So make sure you do the same log into your Facebook account where you have access as an admin to all of your Facebook pages um, and also Instagram as well since Instagram is now connected to Facebook and you have to connect it that way. Um, we do have an article which I'll show you. It's on this tab right now. Uh, but go ahead and click on add social channel button and click on connect Facebook pages and Instagram. Uh, what will happen when you click this button is you'll be taken to Facebook to authenticate. Uh, if you're already logged in, it should bring you right back into Reamaze and you can actually select which pages you want to connect. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. So I'm already logged in. Uh, now pick the right Facebook page that you wanna connect. And keep in mind, your Facebook page actually comes with Facebook Messenger, so it's 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 a it's one action to bring both into Reema. So go ahead and click on da your Facebook page. And in my case, it's going to be Daffy Widgets, and that includes the Daffy Widgets Messenger account as well. And I'm also going to bring in an Instagram account. Right now, it's connected to our co-founder's Instagram account, so no worries there. We're going to connect these two, okay? Um, and then for import settings, make sure you pick the right import settings. So. There are several to pick from. Um, you can choose to import page feed wall posts, um, import page inbox messages, and these this is for Messenger. So if you want Messenger, definitely click this one. Import promotable posts, uh, import page reviews, and import page mentions. Uh, the reason why you want to import these is because you can actually reply to the incoming messages um, from Facebook um, right th uh, through the Reamaze dashboard. Okay, so you'll be able to reply to these types of messages through Reamaze. Okay, for Instagram, um, there are two import settings. One is Smart, which only imports comments that are questions or mentions this Instagram account. Um, I'm just going to click All, and for notification mode, you have Smart, All, or Off. Um, so I'm going to go ahead with Smart. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll go with All. Okay. And embeddable visibility settings, this is something we'll talk about a little bit more in depth um, in the next episode when we talk about Reamaze live chat, the embedded chat box. Uh, but you're able to show your Facebook page icon, your Facebook messenger icon, as well as your Instagram account icon right on the uh, the home screen of your of Reamaze live chat. So customers can easily access those pages or those accounts um, if they want to. Okay, so that shows a little link. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and choose to show everything. Um, when you're done, go ahead and click that button, um, and this should save and take you back to the channel settings page. So as you can see now, uh, Facebook is connected and your Instagram is, is connected as well. Um, if you have questions about how to bring in Instagram, we do have an article here on our um, FAQ. So all you need to do is search for the word Instagram, and it's the first article that pops up. So in order for you to bring in Instagram, you have to connect it to your Facebook page. And in order to connect it to your Facebook page, you need to switch your Instagram account into a business profile. 
So if you're on your phone, you can go to re uh, go to Instagram and go to settings, and then there's going to be a section called switch to business profile, and then you can connect it to a Facebook page, um, and then you can verify that your Instagram account is connected to the right Facebook page by going to your Facebook page, going to settings, and then there's an Instagram section here that should list the right Instagram account. Okay, and then when you connect it to Reamaze, you go through the exact same process that we just went through. Okay. Um, so Facebook is, a connect, is connected, Instagram is connected. Um, it does take a little bit of time to import, especially if you have a lot of content. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, let's just see if we have anything in the Facebook page here. Um, so we do. Um, so these are all of your Facebook messages and also uh, public posts um, or public comments on your posts. Um, these will come in as resolved already, so it doesn't inundate your inbox, okay? Uh, but it, it, in the future, when someone comments on something or sends you a, uh, a messenger message, um, this will pop into Reamaze, and you can see it says Daffy Widgets via Messenger, um, Daffy Widgets via Wall Post. So all of these will come in uh, properly to the right channel, okay? And then if you look at Instagram, um, that should have imported as well. So you can actually see, you know, this is all through Instagram. And again, keep in mind that Instagram right now does not have a private messages or DM API. So we're only able to import public comments on your Instagram posts, not direct messages. Um, this is not something you know that, that we've just neglected to do. It's not. It's just something we don't have access to uh, via the Instagram slash Facebook API. For other help desk platforms that might support this, um, just know that you're probably using a private API, uh, which is not maintained officially by Instagram or Facebook. Um, so there are security issues to that, and we don't want to use a private API. We'd rather, much rather go through an official channel and use the official API maintained by Facebook and Instagram. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, once Instagram um, releases that API, we will definitely add it, add support for it in, in Reamaze. Um, so that's how you connect your Facebook page and how you connect Instagram. Um, the same applies to Twitter. So for Twitter, just make sure you're logged into your Twitter account um, I've switched over to Daffy Widgets now because the Instagram account is actually, uh, the Twitter account is actually connected here. So make sure you're logged into Twitter um, as the admin. You have permissions um, to grant reMAs, And then again, go to social channels and then just click on the add social channel and then connect the Twitter account. Again, you'll go through the same process. Um, and then once you're back into reMAs, you can actually see um, the import settings that we have for Twitter, which is import public tweets and mentions and also import direct messages. Um, so once that's connected, you can go back to your inbox and look for the Twitter channel. So scroll down until you see Twitter, and you'll have all of your Twitter um, messages here. So this is from uh, via a public tweet. Um, I don't know if I have one that's through uh, direct message, probably not. But if it's through a direct message, you'll see Daffy Widgets via um, direct message here. And then you can open that conversation and you can reply to that. Okay, so um, that's it for connecting social media channels. Um, now for SMS channels right now, we support Twilio and ClickSend. These two are the most popular uh, platforms right now. Um, so to bring in your uh, SMS channels, um, instead, of just, instead of going email, which was episode five, I believe, uh, and we just talked about social media channels, you can click on mobile channels. Okay, and you'll have the option um, of adding an SMS channel and make sure you select the right brand. Again, again, Reamaze is multi-brand, so you can have multiple stores connected to this if you're on Shopify or BigCommerce, um, or if you, you know, you've just created a regular brand as another business, um, you can select the right brand, give the channel a name, okay, and then select the SMS provider, either Twilio or ClickSend, and then the show in embeddables, again, is the same as your Facebook page, your Facebook Messenger, or Instagram, or Twitter. You can show the little icon um, on Reamaze live chat home screen. Um, so choose to show that in the embeddable. And then enter your API credentials. Um, we'll give you some basic instructions here. If you have questions about how to connect Twilio or ClickSend, you can again go to our FAQ, uh, type in Twilio. Okay and you'll see how SMS and MMS mobile channels work. And I believe there is a, um, we actually have a blog article on this as well, but you're actually able to follow this and um, find the right API credentials. So let's go back here, and then you can fetch the SMS numbers right now. This is out of date, so I'm gonna see if I can refresh this, probably not. Uh, but if you enter the right, um, well, obviously this is not right. 
So the API username and an API key, um, you'll be able to fetch the existing SMS numbers that you have and connect that to ReMAs as a conversational channel. Again, default notification recipients, you can select from your staff list. Um, and then once you connect that, if you go back to inbox here, you'll see a channel dedicated to your SMS. Um, so right now I have click send SMS connected here um, and not Twilio, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. And you can see that um, you have conversations coming in now. So if a customer text messages you through that number, instead of having to go through the click send dashboard, the Twilio dashboard or whatever other app that you're using, you can manage um, those SMS conversations alongside email, alongside your social media channels. Everything will be in one dashboard um, and then they'll be broken out in their own individual channels. Okay, so if I click on this SMS message here, for example, um, you know, I can read the message, I can see the customer's phone number, and I can reply back to the customer through SMS um, via ReMAs. Okay, so that's SMS, uh, pretty straightforward. Again, if you want to see uh, like a screenshot of what that looks like, um, for example, this is a, a text message from the customer, you can reply to the customer, you have the customer's phone number. Um, for MMS, you can also receive attachments as well. So if someone text messages you an image, that will come into ReMAs, and customers will basically see uh, just your re reply back uh, through their mobile devices. Um, and then it'll just be like a standard text message that you sent back. Um, they won't know that you're using ReMAs. This is all routed from ReMAs through the SMS provider like Twilio or ClickSend and sent back to the customer. So this is a, a really easy way to manage everything in one dashboard. Um, okay, so for voice channels next, um, we're gonna go back to settings. And we've gone through email, social, mobile, and you wanna click on voice. So right now for voice channels, we only support AirCall, um, but we do have RingCentral and TalkDesk coming up as native integrations. So you'll be able to bring in uh, voice channels through those par parties as well, third parties as well. For AirCall right now, we support um, uh, call recordings. So once you're, once you're done with a call uh, with a client, ReMAs will kind of take that voice recording um, transcript and then send it to ReMAs um, at, inside the, the voice channel as a conversation so you can follow up with the customer or write internal notes. Um, and then we also support um, voicemail recordings. So if a customer leaves a voicemail on your voice channel number, um, that will come into ReMAs as well. And a great way to look into that is, you know, if you type in um, air call on ReMAs FAQ, we should have an article that says aircall.io integration, right? And you can see that um, there's a link down here that goes to our feature update blog. So this was the an original announcement for the AirCall integration and has screenshots for what it looks like. Um, I, don't, I don't have it connected right now to this Daffy Widget test account. Uh, but for example, this was a recorded call from 408-555-2641 um, and there's a recording that you can access uh, for this voicemail, uh, for this call recording. And then for voicemails, um, you also have the same kind of recording that you can access that you can access um, through the dashboard. Um, then you can reassign this. You can leave inter internal notes. You can write back to the customer. You can text back the customer. Um, whatever you want to do, everything will be available um, for you in ReMAs. Okay. So um, just to summarize again, in this in this episode, we talked about how to connect your social media channel. We went through Facebook, Facebook Messenger, uh, and also Instagram. And then for mobile channels, we connected, you know, a, a clicks and number. Well, we didn't actually connect it, but we went through the process of connecting it. I'm going to show you guys what that looks like. And then for voice channels, we just went through air call. Um, and again, once everything's connected, you can go back to the inbox. And um, all of those channels will be filtered for you automatically under the brand that you've connected it to. So right now, it's all under Daffy Demo. We have a SMS channel for clicks in. We have uh, the email, which was covered in episode five. We have a Twitter account connected. We have an in a Facebook account connected, which also includes Facebook Messenger. Uh, we have an Instagram account connected, and we have a voice channel through AirCall connected. Cool. All right, so um, if, again, if you have any questions, um, you can contact us just by clicking on this little help icon in your ReMAs account, and we'll be able to uh, write back to you. And then I'll see you guys in the next episode, uh, and we're gonna talk about some other important things. All right, thanks.